you know, like you're, I was talking about this when you guys were out the place, but I said, listen, like at the end of the day, our mind is a muscle. Yes. You either choose to work it out or you choose not to. Yeah. I can tell you that, that, you know, I saw the, I saw the comment. Uh, I got to watch my Vikings game. I get it. Listen, played football, love football. Um, over it. Like I'm over it. I'll, 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 I'll check the score really quick, but man, I don't, I don't have time right now. I'm trying to go to a hundred million dollars. So cliche, but that I see that the more I hang around with you guys, the more I hang around with you and Tori, it's all up here. Yeah, it literally is. Yeah. At the end of the day, and that's just you know, like you I was talking about this when you guys were out the place, but I said, listen, like at the end of the day, our mind is a muscle. Yes, you either choose to work it out or you choose not to. Yeah, I can tell you that that you know, I saw the, I saw the comment. Uh, I got to watch my Vikings game. I get it. Listen, played football, love football. Um, over it. Like I'm over it. I'll, 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 I'll check the score really quick, but man, I don't, I don't have time right now. I'm trying to go to a hundred million dollars. Yeah. I don't have time right now to go in and zone out for three, four hours on a Saturday yeah. on a game that it does nothing for me. It doesn't no, get me, it doesn't get me out of my job or my, you know, what I'm looking to do. It doesn't get me closer to my goal. Um, and with, with that being said, I'm also not someone that's like, Oh, don't have fun. Cause trust me, I have a, a good time. I just, I I'm cognizant that my mind is something that I got to work on just like any muscle in your body in order to condition it to the level to be able to play with the people that make deals of those, of that scope. Right. So I, I think that's, that's an important thing for more people to hear because I think once, you know, and I was just, listen, listen, I had to talk my English teacher into letting me into college so I could play football <laughs> at Oregon. I went back in the summer and I had to like literally beg her to, to get me the, you know, the upgrade so I could get into school. I wasn't great at school. Didn't enjoy it that much. Um, but now, you know, I think I could have easily went down that road of, Hey, I don't like learning or I wasn't good at, I wasn't too good at school. So I'm just going to like, now that school's done, I'm just going to go do my thing. But over the last year or so, I've got really, really focused on trying to, to, to understand and learn something new every day. Yeah. And so each and every night I spend probably three, five, six, seven. I mean, it just depends. Every night's different, but I spend at a minimum three hours, uh, maximum probably five to seven learning a new topic, learning a new yep. subject, learning a new, uh, you know, learning about uh, a whole entire industry I never knew anything about because why? It makes me such a more dynamic entrepreneur. It, yep. it allows me that when I sit down, okay, I could sit down with, with you know, someone who's a, a, a scientist of, of light and lasers or whatever, or I could sit down, I, actually on Friday, I'm here by myself, Tori was back home, and I ended up at YG, for any of you guys know YG, I ended up at YG's recording studio with Post Malone's best friend and uh, Bill Lambier's daughter, randomly, like, right? <laughs> you, start to, you start to attract these things in. So I can play the scientist and the, 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 the CEO, and, and, and you could, you could, I could go to the rapper and, and, you know, and the performers and entertainers. And so you, you go, the more dynamic you guys are, the easier it is to speak to anyone. The only reason you're yeah. afraid to go speak to someone about SEO or lead generation is because you're still new and you don't have those 10,000 hours of repetition in. So your yeah. mind hasn't been conditioned enough to be strong enough for every freaking curveball that's thrown your way, right? So that's why we do these Tuesdays and Thursdays to keep you guys fresh, to keep you guys sharp, right? Keeps me sharp too, man. I'll tell you what, I know a lot of you guys came out uh, and filmed with us, Eric, and there's a lot of people that were nervous to be on camera. Dude, I'm nervous to be on camera a lot. Like, and I've been doing this Tuesdays and Thursdays for five or six years, plus all the other times I'm on camera, right? It doesn't, yep. it doesn't necessarily get easier, but you know, you, you definitely get more comfortable with uncomfortable situations. Yep. And so I guess for, for, for everyone listening tonight, it's like, look, stretch yourself, get rid of your television, throw it out, turn it off, like make it a challenge, right? Yep. Challenge yourself. Can you get uncomfortable? Is that, is that your crutch? You want to get home and, and zone the hell out? Okay. Well, are you where you want to be? If you're not, then this is just my tips that things that I'm doing. Right. So, so, so take, take away your television, learn something new every day, and then let's get into a niche today. Let's spend some time tonight. Let's start the process right now. Right. Let's find a niche in your town, in your market. Right. That's new. That's different. That's obscure. Don't just jump into it after one due diligence sheet. Then I want you to go and start 
compiling the research. So how do we research, right? How do we go find out about that industry? Well, let's go join a couple of Facebook groups that that's who, what they're talking about or LinkedIn or, or Reddit or Quora or whatever. Okay. Then go find the number one author about that industry or about that topic on Amazon. I'm not telling you to go read their whole book, but maybe thumb through it. If you don't want to buy the book, you can find all books free online. Okay. There's every book has been basically archived uh, mm -hmm. for the most part. And I can find you guys the links if you, if you need, if you need to, uh, if you want to read it online, but buy the book, man, buy the book or, or read the, read the synopsis on it, the cliff notes on it and get up to speed, but start learning something new in an industry that you don't know anything about that, you know, you could see could be a really good industry to potentially go into. And then if you go into an industry or if you've gone into an industry, okay. And you have leads coming in, phone calls are, are, are ringing and you don't have a customer. I want you to change your state, change your frame that you're in. Cause you're just in a, you're just in a frame that you're just a lead generator. You're not just a lead generator. You're an entrepreneur and you know, what entrepreneurs do is they solve problems. So, you know, when you have a lead gen property and you've got a bunch of pill business owners that aren't just, you know, they're not, they're not cutting it for you. You become the business owner. That's what you do. You become the business owner for, for the time being, because that, you were always the business owner. You just were framed differently. You just, you just didn't understand that you were always the owner. You were always in control. So once you know you're in control, it's not asking anyone. It's, this is, this is my business. This is what I'm looking for, right? No, I'm not interested. All right, cool. Still my business, still what I'm looking for. You're just not the right person to work with. No different, by the way, guys, when you're on the other side of it. When you're an owner, which you guys all are, of your own businesses, and you get people that want to work for you, which you will have. You know how many applications we go through? You know, people we look at and we read and we're like, okay, not a good fit for, for our organization. So just the same way that when we go and speak to business owners about buying leads or doing business, you know, joint venturing with us on lead gen, people are doing that to us every day too. There's a sifting and sorting process to every business. Okay. Whether you're on the, the hiring side or you're on the, Hey, I'm trying to come to you and pitch you something to spend money with me. It's the same thing. We're, we have to go through a lot of BS to get to the diamonds.